Here at My Computer Works, I see and hear constant frustrations related to password management and social media account recovery. And I help individuals just like you figure out how to not only get back into their social media accounts, but also how to stay in control of those accounts. My name is Tyler with My Computer Works, and today I'll be taking you on a step-by-step -step guide that will break down one, why you lost access to your social media accounts in the first place, and two, how to get back in for all of the possible reasons that you got locked out, right? So we'll be discussing about four different reasons and I will show you how to get back in. So let's start with why you got locked out of your account. So number one, the most common reason is gonna be forgotten passwords, okay? Either you forgot the password or your stored password in your password manager was not correct. Number two, account hacked your account may have been compromised that's right somebody may have gotten in and changed the password on you taking control of it uh, number three is kind of related to number two but a little different we got compromised email now if your email account that is associated with your social media account gets compromised they may have taken control right by having maybe like a code sent to the email uh, and that makes it harder for you to use the password recovery to regain access because they may root their email in place of yours and take control of it, okay? And number four, account is disabled or it is suspended. Your account may be temporarily suspended due to violations of the platform's guidelines or terms of service, okay? Okay, so let's start with the easiest one, which is forgot password or you forgot the, uh, the password into the account. All of the different pages here, like here I am at facebook.com. You can see down here underneath the login box, we've got forgot password. Instagram, same thing. Down there at the bottom, forgot password underneath the login. And this is X here, same thing. When you go to the x.com, hit sign in down there and forgot password, okay? Pretty simple. If you forgot the password, you could hit that forgot password box. You put in your email or phone number and get back into the account. That's if you have valid 2FA uh, methods or you have, um, you know, verif good verification methods. OK, so the, the way that that is set up is in the account when you've already been in. So if you are locked out, obviously you you have to hope that what you set up is good. So you have you have an up to date phone number or an up-to-date email address that they can send a code to and you can get access into the account again or get back into the account so what if you don't right uh if you do not have valid 2fa methods or you don't have uh, an email or phone number where they can send the code to like if it's an old number or an old email address that you're no longer using what you're gonna have to do is what everyone in uh, two and three, right? So number two was uh, getting hacked and number three was email compromise. So basically all of you are now in the same boat. So if you go to do forgot password, you can't get it sent to a good email or phone number. You move basically to you're in uh, boat number two, which is you, you've been hacked. Basically you've hacked yourself uh, by not setting up a valid two-factor two uh, authentication methods or uh, two-verification two methods or recovery methods, okay? So you basically hacked yourself. Now we move to number two and three, which is your account was hacked or compromised, right? So this is going to cover all of the first three reasons. This next section is going to cover all of the, the, three sec the three reasons we talked about earlier. And it is Pretty simple. We go to the home pages, whether it be again Instagram, X, or Facebook. And at the bottom, there's always like a help option right here. So, little help option there. I'll, I'll zoom in on that real quick for everybody a little bit. So, down there, we've got help. Okay. And I'll swap to Instagram. You can see same thing help down there. X. Same thing out here at the home page, help center. Theirs is actually called help center. Let me get that up a little more so everybody can see it. Help center right there at the bottom. Okay. They've all got it. Doesn't matter which one you go to. Okay. And you're going to click on that. You're simply going to click on that help center option. 
Okay, so now here we are. Here's the Facebook one. But this is going to pretty much cover for every single one uh, that you could do. And so what I'm going to put in here is uh, account recovery. Okay. All right. And so I've been hacked. My, my Facebook account is locked and I'm not getting phone or email codes when trying to confirm my account. So that one would work, work uh, for you. Or if you typed in hacked, uh, recover a hacked Facebook, this is probably going to be the best one. Um, it's the same thing for like Instagram. If we go to the help, looks basically the same. We type in hacked, hacked Instagram account. If you think your Instagram uh, account has been hacked, either way, all these pages have what we want here. So if you see here, if you think your account has been hacked or taken over, there are several actions you may be able to take via the website or the app to secure your account. If someone gains access to your account, or you're unable to log in, visit this page and see that's a link in blue. And where this is going to take us is Instagram hacked. The Facebook one takes us to the Facebook hacked page. I'll have those down in the description. Okay, so now once you're at this page, they have this link here where you choose that your account has been compromised and you'll put your account email in or phone number and they will walk you through trying to recover your account. Sometimes you have to fill out a form. Sometimes they'll ask for your ID. I've even seen situations where they'll have you use your camera to identify your face. Like you have to do a face verification or uh, send them like a selfie. So it just depends. Each one has their own different process or uh, their different way of, of v validating that you are who you say you are, right? So they have to verify that. Um, but once you finish that, you've got a good chance at getting back into your account. However, I will say, uh, if you provide more information, that is always better. Uh, less information is not good and make sure you give them correct information. You want it to be as accurate as possible to, uh, basically, you know, raise the chance that they're going to give you your account back because they can say no. And if they do say no, just remember that. Facebook, Instagram, X, these services are all free, luckily, so you can always make another account, right? And rebuild it, hopefully, to what you had before, you know, just as good. Now, once you do that, or once you get your account back, whatever situation it is, if you're making a new account or you get your old account back, set up valid two-factor methods, right? So get those verification methods set up, make sure it's your phone number, your email, the application on your phone, the verification app or the authentication app is the best method. Um, but whatever you have, just make sure it's up to date and you can get codes to whatever device or whatever app you're using to get yourself back in next time. So you don't end up in this situation. Okay. Thank you all for watching. If you're having trouble getting into one of your social media accounts, or you need help with anything that you saw or heard in the video, please give us a call. Our number is always at the beginning and end of the video down in the description. While you're down there, please hit that like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all on the next video.